Hello and welcome to your favorite podcast the mostly paperback show with me Bangalore Sundar What differentiates the greatest teams from great teams What is the secret ingredient of a great team Is it the coach the money or the presence of a greatest of all time player Sam Walker in his charming book the captain class says that the secret ingredient of the greatest teams of all times was the captains of these teams sam walker the sports editor of wall street journal spent 20 years analyzing the best performing sports teams to shortlist 16 teams which he call as the tier 1 or the elite teams of all times the selection process that sam had deployed was quite strict he used a multi-tier approach to shortlist these 16 teams from a pool of over 15000 these teams comprises of teams which have played different forms of sports like football handball volleyball etc sam had identified that these captains have all had some common characteristics they were humble they shunned publicity they challenged status quo they pushed others to exceed their potential they put the team's interest first they had high emotional quotient they don't mind stretching the rules to win the matches they were relentless they were not motivational speakers they were not leaders who gave locker room lectures to inspire their teams but through their subtle gestures they were able to inspire their teams to win matches these leaders were water carriers they were servant leaders and not celebrity leaders the stories covered in this book about the great deeds of the captains were awe inspiring while captains like buck shelford captain of the legendary all blacks rugby team or valery vasilev the captain of the soviet union ice hockey team they endured unimaginable physical pain to win matches there were also stories of captains like rachel hawks the captain of the australian women's hockey team and jerome fernandez the captain of the french handball team who displayed resilience to channel their pain towards the goal there was also stories about philip lom who later became the captain of the bayern munich team who stood against the team management because he felt that the way the team was managed was not right there was also stories about how yogi berra displayed stoicism when he played his matches this book is filled with lot of sports trivia and thankfully many of the matches that were mentioned in this book are available in youtube for you to see and enjoy sam mentions that the leaders were transformational and not transactional of course as a cricket fan i was a bit disappointed to see not even one team from cricket to be represented in this big list but sam mentions that he did consider the great west indian team which was led by the legendary clive lloyd in 1975 to 1985 they came quite close to be part of this list same way there are there were two teams from australia the team that was led by steve war between 1998 to 2003 and also the team led by ricky ponting between 2003 to 2008 they both came quite close to be part of this big list but unfortunately due to the criteria that sam had set these cricket teams were not eligible to be part of this list same goes with the legendary hockey team led by dhyan chand because those th- because the team did not had enough opportunity to 